Hello my soccer universe for another Women's World Cup update and again I could watch at least one game and I saw the end of the other game. I decided to go with Sweden today because you know I can wear the US jerseys probably for much longer than I will be able to wear the Sweden jerseys and I like Sweden overall so uh, this is a great jersey that I got. Um, link in the description. Oh, link above. To that jersey. So two games to round out the second match day uh, and it was pretty clear who's gonna win those games right from the get-go to be honest. The first game was Sweden against Thailand. I mean Thailand hopes to bounce back from the 13-0 mauling by the US um, but you know it didn't look quite as well because Sweden got scoring right away. Sam Brandt in the 6th and in the 19th Aslani made it already 2-0 uh, right before half. In the 42nd Rolfe made it 3-0. So it's the same scoreline at halftime as it was in the Mauling uh, just a few days ago. However, you know, we know Sweden is not the US um, and they will never score as many because Sweden is typically Swedish. Typically Swedish it's just uh, you hold yourself back if you don't need to you just do what you need to do and that's what Sweden does very well and that's why they're so successful overall um, in uh, sports. A second half I mean I saw only the uh, last 20 minutes or so I mean Sweden tried to score but um, you could see that the last effort was not there but Lina Hurtig gets in the 81st gets the 4-0 then I think they even they had had a few more chances without going all out, and then the moment I want to say at least of the day, if not of the second match day or so on, Thailand scores. Uh, Kanyana Sung Nguyen uh, gets the ball on the touchline and just sprints down, and you know the Swedes are more or less escorting her, and she uh, puts the ball into the net. Definitely a goalkeeping mistake. I mean, it's, it goes in at the short corner. The goalkeeper stands just one or two steps further to, to, to the left. The ball, she can easily save the ball. However, the emotions that came, especially on the Thai bench afterwards, was worth that goal 100%. And you thought it might end only 4-1, but no, there was a penalty given. Yeah, header by Hurtig that hits the Thai defender on the hand. Don't like it really. But it's a penalty under the new laws in the 96th Rubenson makes it the last kick of the game. Makes it 5-1 for Sweden. Huna also boosts a little bit their goal difference. But you know, um, they have another big matchup against the US coming up that will decide first place. And first place more or less means the right to play France in the quarters. Which I'm going to be curious to see how things will be going. Speaking of the US women, I watched pretty much the entire game between the US and Chile, uh, expecting another goal fest. But um, when I saw the lineup, and it's kind of so, I already knew it's not going to be that much of a goal fest simply because the US women are not playing in the first string lineup. Still, they got to scoring quite early. I mean, it could have been already in the first or second minute, and I think this time they're hit the woodwork a lot more often than uh, they actually scored. I think if they make all those chances, it could have been 8 or 9. But we'll talk about why this wasn't happen. So the, I think there was an early post early on. Uh, Carly Lloyd in the 11th makes it 1-0, a shot that, you know, got... I think it was defended by the Chilean, uh, by the Ch uh, Chilean women. And then uh, Julie Ertz and Carly Lloyd try to get the shot off. Carla Lloyd is first there and makes it 1-0. Julie Ertz gets her goal a little bit late in the 26th and then Carla Lloyd in the 35th. Uh, both were headers after a corner kick. Um, I think one of those, even after the corner kick, that clearly was not no, the corner kick. Uh, but you could see the aerial dominance uh, by the US quite uh, well. And I have to say, the Chilean goalkeeper, I think her name is Endler. Let's quickly see uh, the lineup. Yeah, Endler. She was by far the tallest Chilean player, and I think she was even towering over most of the American women. Um, really tall. But then when you look at her in goal, 
as compared to a man's goalkeeper, you could see that there's just some centimeters missing. Um, and that got me to think, yeah, that's why the women's game is different because the players, most of the time, I mean, they can be strong and athletic, but they are not as, they cannot be as many tall players, especially in goal, uh, because most goalkeepers on the men's level are huge giants with long arms and female goalkeepers don't necessarily have that and the ones that are long they're usually pretty good goalkeepers um, but most of the time the strategy should be shoot high uh, there's almost no, no chance of get, 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 getting there it's you know very naive observation on my part so i thought i i, I really thought about it. i mean although she she is a tall tall woman she you know there is centimeters missing just by the pure fact that uh, women don't grow as uh, tend, don't naturally grow as tall as men. Um, the second half, I have to say, I have to give her all credit. I think Endler was the player of the game. She made six saves. Some of those were absolute world class saves. She saved the Chilean women from a debacle by the more or less on her own. Really great performance. Um, and the one time where she couldn't do anything, a penalty that was not a penalty in any stretch of the mission. The foul happened outside. I don't know, but they look at the VAR. They should have given a free kick or anything. It, I, I, I think the referee just had the idea. Yeah, I went out there. I need to do something. Let's give a penalty. Carly Lloyd Shaw did white. So uh, that, that was that. But the US really hitting the woodwork, I think, three times in the second half. Uh, some, some of the comical fashion said if they didn't, Endler was there and saved. And I think she can be really, really, really proud of her performance there. Yes, they lost 3-0, but more could have happened. And just by the pure fact that even with a second string squad, the US thoroughly dominated Chile. And it's another, dem dem another demonstration. But I wonder slightly if those missed chances won't come back. Anyway. The U.S. is now clearly in control of this group, but also it would have the chance, you know. U.S. and Sweden are through the next round with six points. Chile, if they get a win against Thailand and some things go their way, they might actually end up um, in the uh, next round. Could happen, uh, especially if it, if you level, if there are three, a few nations level on three points. Let's just see how it is at the moment. Um, if I look at Group A, uh, yeah, Nigeria is at three points at the moment. I mean, if Chile beats up on Thailand, that that is in there. China is on three points. They play Spain, so maybe with a draw, I uh, have to see Australia and Brazil. That's a good. I think there will be there could be a draw, and Australia will win. So I, probably not. Argentina has already a point if they beat Scotland could happen and then Cameron, New Zealand and Chile and Thailand. I actually think Thailand has, um, Chile has a decent chance of making it to the next round. I really think so. Um, don't really have now the chance to look at how it will go for the round of 16. Uh, I just know that at the moment it is really sad set up if the US and France win they will meet in the quarterfinal, which will be a darn shame. But both teams have not the option. Do you go for the win? I actually think that France will probably uh, take take the win over Nigeria. And then it will be the US against the, uh, Sweden, which is this eternal duel between those two. And I'm really wondering, really wondering, will the US women let Sweden win this one? Although they eliminated them in the in Olympics in 2016. I cannot really see it, and I think we'll have a great quarterfinal coming up. But let's see how it, how it will go. Let me know your thoughts about on, on the games today. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.